Secretary General spoke to the First Ladies Summit on Women in Crisis Management. He said, we need to view women as agents of change. This is what we're doing at the United Nations. We advocate for women, but more than that, we involve women. He noted that under his tenure as Secretary General, more women have been appointed to senior positions than ever before, nearly tripling their number in top managerial posts. Accompanying the Secretary General in Sharm el Sheikh, his wife, Mrs. Ban Soon Tak, today participated in that first uh, ladies' summit convened by Mrs. Suzanne Mubarak, the first lady of Egypt. In her remark, Mrs. Ban stressed that when women have social equality and assurance, to be able to make their own decisions, they can help solve the world's many problems. She added that women hold the key to tackling the financial crisis and the problem of hunger, but the question is how to turn that key and unlock the solution. She urged all the first ladies of the NAM states to take their influence and combine strength to help the world's women so as to benefit their children as well as change the entire world for better. On the subject of managerial roles for women, the Deputy Secretary General told the group of equal rights for women in the United Nations that achieving gender equality is an integral part of the reform of the United Nations and will undoubtedly help build a staff that is mobile, multifunctional, flexible, and accountable, one which lives up to the highest ethical standards. The United Nations must both be on the cutting edge of change and practice fully what we preach, she said in remarks delivered at UN headquarters yesterday. A working mother herself, the Deputy Secretary General acknowledged that combining a career with family life is difficult. Finding the right balance between professional advancement and motherhood, between work and life, is the toughest challenge we face, not least because we have to admit that we cannot achieve, achieve a perfect balance. She noted that women tend to be underrepresented in the more substantive fields, such as political and peacekeeping, a fact often attributed to the stereotyping of women and the situations and capabilities. She noted that the Secretary General is insisting on progress and the issue is gaining momentum where it was lacking before.